Hey everyone, Rob here again, and I have some updates on the Grimsvat potential eruption that will be coming on. Today is November the 30th, and I'll be recording this in the afternoon. Well, I guess it's evening now here in Iceland. And I uh, wanted to give you the latest updates and some exciting news for those of you that like to keep up to date in between all of these updates that I'm providing. I got a little something for you as well. So first thing that I want to mention is uh, we're taking a look at some of the historical facts based on the 2011 eruption. I want to cover a little bit of that first. We're looking at a picture from some of the first images of that 2011 eruption of Grimsfath. And it was back in May of 2011. And the ash cloud was actually so extreme that the airspace in northern Germany was closed due to ash. And the airspace over Berlin, Hanover, closed. And they were estimating at the, at the time, based on an older article I'm reading now, that, that the ash would actually reach all the way to Poland. And based on the, on the report that I'm reading, is more than 500 flights were actually postponed in the UK, one in just a single day, due to the ash from the eruption in Grimsvad. It also had significant effect in Norway, Denmark, etc. So there is a huge potential that should this erupt, that it will cause some issues to flights, hopefully not around the Christmas season, because I know a lot of people really like to travel and visit family and so forth. So I know, keep an eye open for this. this it's possible that this could disrupt flights for a little bit of time while the ash is sort of underway. Another thing that we should keep in mind, especially if you're in Iceland watching this, this is an image of some of the rivers that were covered in ash from from the eruption. And so the Icelandic government recommended that in situations like this, where there's a lot of ash in the rivers, that there could be a lot of dead fish, both you know young ones and more mature fish in the lakes and rivers where all of this ash has fallen down from the volcano and it's not just Grimsbot that we're talking about although this image is from that and now the government agencies were monitoring developments and trying to figure out how best to advise people how they can themselves investigate inspect the la lakes where they have found uh, you know dead fish and, and dead sea life because it is very very toxic now the ash from the volcanoes and this one in particular that I'm reading about contains toxins such as fluorine and aluminum compounds and when it rains, these substances are easily washed out into the nearby waters and can cause the death of you know, organisms, aquatic life, and so forth. So it's, it's a lot more disruptive than uh, just a little bit of lava covering the ground and a little bit of ash delaying flights. This is a serious thing. And I did see in one of the comments in a previous video of mine that someone was saying that there was an eruption that wiped out a huge percentage of the Icelandic wildlife. Now, I didn't find any information on that. So if you did post that, more info would be great. But it's uh, that that's a scary thing when I was reading that one, the fact that that has the potential of causing so much catastrophic damage and death uh, from a volcano that's, to be honest, quite far away from, from people. But to the main event, we were looking at this yesterday. So this is from yesterday night. Sorry, it's in Icelandic, but basically let me just translate it real quick. They were they were saying in the news on Visa that the ice cap was sinking down around five meters, and I I did some videos on that. You know, it goes from four point four, five, six, and so forth. And this was yesterday night at seven forty p.m. Now what we're looking at is this graph here, which you can all find on my live stream. So I have a live stream going of both the seismograph and the height change. So you can go here on the live stream. I'll put a link to it at the end of the video, but you can take a look at this and this is updated in real time. So you're able to follow along and you can see, although it's in Icelandic, you can see this is the height and this is negative 7.58 meters. And you can see the last updated time was 8.16. And uh, yeah, so you get the time that all of this is, is going on. So, one other thing, so if we just take a look at this. Currently, this change is now approaching 8 meters, it's a negative 8 meters. And so if we we're looking at, again, some of the older reports, even from yesterday, going from 5 to 8, 
taking a look at the graph, the change graph here, we can see that it is almost going into this vertical dive down. And I'm not sure how quickly this is going to happen, but based on the curvature of just, you know, a couple of days, which is what this is, we can estimate that it's rapidly accelerating down. And uh, my guess is we are very, very close to getting the Jokerfleip and in turn, possibly getting the eruption that results from these types of glacial flooding. But I wanted to give you the link and the information to this. Check out the live stream if you want to follow along on this update and it will automatically refresh so we can get all of the information. You can see here uh, this graph as well as some of the other ones and I will keep you posted. But I wanted to let you know it is accelerating. We're almost at uh, well, just over seven and a half meters of a drop so far, which is a drastic decrease, a drastic drop from yesterday. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, always, I love reading all the comments. I don't have a chance to reply to every single one. Uh, some of them just don't even require a reply, but I do read all of them. So I appreciate all of the support and all of the comments that you give. So until next time, thank you so much for watching.